Big news on the Pearl River High campus as Caleb Manuel, who's sitting here with me right now, is named the, officially named the new head coach. Coach, I guess before we get into your background and learning those kind of things, how excited are you? I mean, is this your first head coaching job here? Yep, uh, I'm extremely excited. Um, just spent a couple years in college. Uh, I told my wife if, um, if I ever got out of college, if there was a job, I would take it be the Pearl River job. It's, uh, this place means a lot to me. Uh, I'm not from here, from Mamou, Louisiana originally, but uh, I have a lot of pride in here. Um, been know my wife for almost seven years now. I've met a lot of great people over here, and it's, uh, it's an awesome town. Uh, like I said, just have a lot of pride and uh, love this place. What was, I mean, we all know volunteer assistant at, at Southeastern. What were your job responsibilities at Southeastern while you were there? Um, <clears throat> helped, uh, my main responsibility was working with the outfielders, but uh, I was assistant pitching coach with uh, the pitchers. Um, did, uh, helped, helped around with recruiting a little bit, um, and kind of just uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, just whatever Coach Riser needed, um, it kind of just called on me. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, from equipment, laundry, uh, on field. On Jack of all trades, really. Yeah, 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 I mean, you had to wear many hats at the volunteer spot. Is it make it better for the kids? Because, you know, everybody's going to want to test out and see what the new coach is like and all that kind of stuff. When a guy comes in and he was coaching in college, I want to go play college. Does it make the transition easier? Do the kids seem to listen to you? Because you were out there recruiting. You were saying, oh, this kid looks good. We should offer him those kind of things. You can give them that insight because you were there. Yep, yep. I mean, <clears throat> the guys that are uh, interested in doing that kind of stuff, if there's something they need to work on, I know how the college coach thinks, what what things they're looking for, and if, if, if there's some there's some potential in a kid to play next level, that's something I, I'd love to pull them aside. But hey, if you just work on this a little bit more, they'll elevate your game just just a little bit more. Just get the scouts looking at you. What's a Caleb Manuel Pearl River baseball team gonna look like? Are we on a station to station, a gorilla ball? What's it's What's it going to look like? No, uh, like I was telling you earlier, um, I, I, I compared it to a race car engine. Um, I want to keep that needle in the red the whole time. I want to red line the engine. Uh, just maximum output at all times. It's um, just any little opportunity that presents itself, uh, I want to take it. If, it. if there's one time where a defender's not looking, I want to be taking the next bag. It's, um, I, I want I want to keep the other team on their heels um, as much as possible and us I mean, just running downhill, just running downhill, getting downhill on them, and um, just click, clicking everywhere, uh, just executing offense, just flying around. I know Pro River is, it's, we've been in a, a string here. I've done a lot of interviews at Pro River with new head coaches. Yep. This will be their third baseball coach in three years. They're on their, I think it's third football coach in three years. Mm -hmm. While we can't predict the future, we don't know what's going to happen for you a year from now or two years Showed from now. Up. Are you in this for the long haul? No doubt. You know, because yeah. people want to know, oh, okay, am I doing another Pearl River coaching's interview next year? You no. know, just what, what, what's your message there? Um, so the biggest thing, like I told you, if there was a if there was an opportunity for me to get this job, I wouldn't. And number one opportunity is the kids here. It's, um, it's, it, it reminds me of where I'm from. Uh, it's, it's a blue-collar kid with a lot of grit to them. That, uh, they, they're never out of the game. They're always going to compete. And uh, what fires me up the most was the first day I was out here. Um, they, I mean, they just grabbed everything. They bought in. Everybody's bought in. Everybody plays hard. And when you got kids that are competitive, I mean, you always got a shot. Um, and, and it's kids that come to work too. Uh, every day, I haven't had one problem in all our practices this summer. Where I thought, ah, yeah, they're a little slow today. They don't really want it. Every day, I mean, they've been they've been flying around, uh, just and just having fun with it too. That's the biggest thing is everybody forgets it's a game. Um, but you got to have fun with it. But uh, I love these kids over here. These kids are a good fit for uh, what I was trying to get into. You're inheriting a program that's made the playoffs the last four or five years. Yep. So this is, this is not a total rebuild. Your overall thoughts on your team of just what kind of program are you going into? Is it a, I got to start from zero, or is it just, I, I'm here and it's my job to take them to that next step? No, I, uh, I'm extremely lucky um, because of what Coach Harris Coach Bull have set culture-wise over here. Going into this job, I didn't know what the culture was going to be like. And that's, I mean, when you talk about Alabama football, uh, New England football, everybody's got this winning culture about them. This, they got something that separates them. They got that, this culture. And I always knew, you know, reading books, growing up, taking notes, uh, going into my first head coaching job, I knew I got to develop the culture. 
when I got here, that old school blue collar, just gritty mentality was already in these kids. Uh, I mean, culture was just already about done, uh, getting set up, and so I could get on with uh, the baseball part of it. I don't want to jinx it, and I'll knock on someone right here, but North Shore Summer League, I mean, you haven't lost a game yet. Is that a product of your team buying in? Is it a product of the talent? Or you kind of don't know yet? No, I kind of don't know yet. I mean, and it's, uh, I think tonight would be our ninth game that we've played. Um, I'm, I'm extremely pleased uh, with what we've done so far. But I, I told the kids a while ago, I said, it's been a good summer so far. And you had the opportunity right here in front of you to make a great summer. Um, I, we talk about sweeping our opponents. And all, the, the only thing, the first thing you do when you sweep is win the first game, then win the second game. And you just keep taking game by game. And now we got the opportunity in front of us. We got the blood in the water uh, to be able to go get after some tail today. Um, and that is that we got one team in front of us tonight uh, that, that can make it a great summer or just make it a good summer. So it's completely up to the boys tonight. Awesome, Caleb Manuel, our Weber head coach. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you, man.